Hi there guys, Riddler on YouTube here and this video is going to be a look at, a more in-depth look at how I am creating these boxes for my NES games, these uh, reproduction boxes. Uh, I've shown you, I've done a video about the Battletoads one and how I, you know, cut and stick it together but this is more focusing on the technical aspect of, you know, the Photoshop design and, you know, editing and everything. So piecing together the actual box so I'll sh I want to show you a more in-depth look at uh, that process so this might be a bit of a long video so if you're interested stick around alright so um, lately I've just made a recent one which is my Nintendo uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles or Hero Turtles box um, let me show you this this is the this is the actual official original box for uh, Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles and um, this has been a box that I've been had on my site gone unavailable for quite a while and I've wanted to do it um, but it's been I've been putting it off because it's been so difficult basically getting all these lines and everything and you know I'm not too up the, the program I'm using here is paint shop pro and I'm not too kind of as of late I haven't been too kind of up with you know the more advanced technical details of how to use it and you know the little bits inside the application but lately I've I've, I've got my head around it and uh, I've been able to complete and make my uh, turtles box so as you can see on screen here it is this is the completed article um, and uh, I want to show you how exactly I got to that stage from this box now, um, like this is this is the full this oh my god the tab's broken. <laughs> this is the full box. This is the your actual official game. So it's it's all in here. And um, what I typically what I typically do um, on a normal box is I um, buy the game. I get the box and I use it or I scan it into like a scanner and I upload it to my PC. In this case, uh, I I did that in this case. But I didn't think the scans were that good, and it just m was missing something. So what I did was got a hold of the um, this photo, which I'll show you uh, here. Um, I got hold of this photo. Um, this is the actual official original main artwork piece um, for the that goes on the front of the Ninja Turtle box so that's the full picture and I use this to create my Ninja Turtles box so I'm going to show you how I did that so going back to this box here as you can see this is the fully completed you know image and everything and this is the one I've, I've put up and um, I'm, I'm really really happy with it but as you can see this isn't just a, a straight scan of the box. Um, every little bit, you, every little piece of imagery you can see on this template is actually, um, in, you know, painstakingly, you know, done, you know, individually and stuck together. And I'll show you. I'll show you exactly what I mean. Uh, for example, um, this turtle logo up here. You see, if I move that out of the way. And these turtle logos here, you see, everything's just coming apart slowly. Even the little NES um, logos here. Um, even the text, you see, I've written the text for the blurb separately. Uh, my little Nesco's Customs logo there, NES seal. Um, you see the image on the front, which is what I've taken from that. Um, original poster that's gone um, all these little Ninja Turtles uh, logos here uh, these little Palcom logos even down to these little white lines um, actually let me move that back uh, you can see these white lines here that I've actually done separately so again looking at the original box um, this is the tricky bit I had getting all these lines and cutting this image to this uh, to these lines here that was the most difficult part but I managed to get around it so I've done all these like separately and as you can see it's 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 a real you know I'll start off with a real blank template there uh, if I get all these things out of the way 
Um, whoops. So it's a real just a blank NES box template that I start with, and I just construct it slowly, bit bit by bit, um, even down to the screenshots. So um, if I just undo everything, you can see it all you know, goes together. For the finished article, um, so yeah, it's 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 real painstaking work. I just wanted to show you how it was all done. It's all it was all done bit by bit, and and it's a real painstaking process. So, um, uh, I'll give you an idea of how I um, do the screenshots. The screenshots are another real pain in the butt because they're so difficult to do. Um, the original box, when you scan them in, the screenshots, although they're nice on the box, they don't come out very well on the scanner. And, you know, these images here, they're not real, really crystal clear. So what I tend to do is actually play the game and recapture the screenshots again. So I'll give an example how I do of how I do that. Um, so, for example, um, I take one of these, I'll take one of these... Um, original screenshots from the actual box from the scan or the original scan of the box uh, I'll copy that out and I would paste it um, into a new section here so I can play with this um, and I'll, I'll mess around with that until I get something uh, which is uh, I've, I've saved a couple frames here so I've got all my little files um, screenshot border for Ninja Turtles so it goes to something like this basically so I've got a little screenshot and I'll black all that out and I'll um, what I'll do for example is I'll just get a paintbrush and I'll go real slowly painstakingly and just you know black all that out all around the edges until I get something that resembles this and then what I'll do I will um, boot up the game, I'll get an emulator and I'll boot up boot up the game like this uh, let's go into the game here and I'll, yeah, I'll give you an example of actually how I take one of the screenshots you might find it interesting <laughs> um, so there we go, so I'll go into the game and I'll just take a print screen of the screen there And then what I'll do, I'll paste it into PaintShop Pro. And I'll do a little cropping here. So I'll just crop to the image of the print screen that I've just taken. That's it there. And so now I want to resize that because, you, um, you know, the screenshot's going to be a lot more a lot bigger at the moment than the screenshot border here that I've got so I'm going to the let's crop the size of actually um, yeah that's fine let's check the size of this now So we'll crop that down a little bit just for the size. And so now this screenshot border is, um, I can check the size down here. It's um, 436 by 364. So I'm going to get this and resize it. 436 by 364. and that resizes that one here so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hollow out this black screenshot border here copy this newly taken screenshot and paste it into the space there it's still got, you can't see, but it's still got the border of the selection tool that I've made in there so if I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to paste that as a new layer and you can see the you know the the actual outline of the selection tool is still there. Um, so I'm going to copy again that. And 
and paste it again as a new image and that's it that's my screenshot you can see it now with the nice round edges and all I do with that is copy again and then I'll paste it on to as a new layer onto my box and so there's my screenshot and I'll just you know paste it over or wherever I want onto the new uh, place on the box and that's pretty much how I do my screenshots um, I always do I do these text blurbs as well because the text doesn't always come out really nice so I rewrite all these um, so they're nice and fresh and when they print out they're nice and uh, you know brand new looking uh, I've got these seal logos here I've uh, you know high resolution and um, stuck on there my little logo and all these even these little bits of text here I write all these all these disclaimers and this seal kind of writing so yeah I mean that's pretty much it I just wanted to show you, you know the you know it is quite a painstaking process it's not just a case of you know photocopying or you know photocopying the box and then you know printing it out it's you know a lot of work goes into these boxes and you know this is just some of it so this is one of the hardest boxes I've uh, I've you know I've had to do so far and I'm real glad it's kind of out of the way so yeah I just wanted to show you guys and hope you can you know appreciate hopefully a little bit of hard work I've done let me just show you here because I mean the, the hardest bit with this Ninja Turtle box actually was um, this part uh, now as you can see you know it's, <laughs> it's a bit scraggy but uh, like I showed you that original poster I, I just basically just cut it let's have a look here I just cut it and um, you know you can see the I've just used the rubber tool to you know delete the parts that I don't need that's in the picture so I can just delete all that bit and then line it up right just so it's in the right section and you know I've, I, I did all the measurements and everything I mean that, that's real painstaking work so this is why this box has taken so long for me to do it's, it's been a real labour of uh, you know wanting to get it perfect really I'm a bit of a perfectionist so uh, that's why it's taken so long for me to do but I'm really happy with it it's all done now uh, fully completed and uh, up for sale and um, yeah if you want to check it out go to nescoscustoms.com and um, yeah it's it's all there so that's it that's just a quick look at um, how I made my Ninja Turtles box and uh, that's it from me and I'll I'll see you later I'll do some uh, do some more videos real soon thank t thanks a lot guys take care bye